so you know, as Michigan's oldest brewery, it's nice to celebrate our 35th anniversary with one of the oldest beers in our portfolio. As a home brewer, I made a lot of stout. Um, that was sort of what I was known for, I guess, in the in the homebrew circles and the people that were knocking on my door. Stout wasn't something that was in uh, a lot of uh, beer drinkers' wheelhouse. Stout was just something, you know, okay, we're craft brewers, we can make stout. You know, I loved uh, the idea of Imperial Stout, and I remember some friend going to England and asking them to see if they could find me a bottle of Courage Imperial Stout, and they did. I think it was a 1974, a little nip bottle. I remember drinking it up north. And, you know, that's sort of the inspiration for Expedition. But Expedition comes along in 89. It's certainly uh, the oldest uh, made Imperial Stout in the United States these days. Uh, so we've been doing it a long time. And that, that was out there, you know, 10.5% alcohol. So we had made Third Coast Old Ale before we made Expedition. And we, we had some of our fans taking it on trips and sending us pictures. Third Coastal Lille and the Himalayas and this, this, that. Um, so for making the Imperial Stout, the idea was um, to make something that was great for traveling wherever you may be going. So lots of alcohol, lots of re residual sugar, high hop, you know, over hop, high hop content that would calm down uh, over time. And actually planned it for lower carbonation just because it's so thick and you don't want it to foam over on the top of Mount Fuji, right? So, um, so it, was, it was put together that way. You know, Expedition, it was also designed uh, to be long-lasting. The oldest expedition I've ever had, I think, was 18 years old. And it was a, a magnum, and it was absolutely beautiful. Just chocolate silk. Um, I'm not sure what the oldest bottle I might have around is uh, right now. I'd have to go look. It's, it's great for aging. It's great to do as an anniversary beer. Uh, it speaks to the history of the brewery and our longevity that it's been around for for so long so we're making one just a little bit stronger uh than normal so maybe it'll last 30 years i don't know probably outlast me um uh but i you know that's enjoyable to have the, those strong beers as anniversary beers um what we can look back and think about uh, the time that that was um you know I'm not sure how many people will want to toast 2020 um, in the future, but <laughs> maybe toast living through it. I don't know. So I'm excited that, that we have that. 35 is a 35 is a big one. Um, you know, that's that's a career. That's a lifetime uh, of work at this point. It's uh, it's the majority of my life now that I've uh, worked for the brewery. Really, I, I incorporated when I was 25, so that's 37 years ago from when I incorporated uh, and got the thing off the ground. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it, uh, looking forward to putting the case away and uh, you know trying them out over time. I think it's always fun with a new beer like that. It's fun to to have one or two when it's fresh and young, see what it's like and then over time open them up and, and see how they progress uh, in the aging. That's, that's one of the fun things about celery beer. So I grabbed one, uh, I guess from, from home here. This was packaged on Halloween, on Halloween day of 2017. So probably ought to see how this one's coming along. Beautiful. So delicious. 
Oh my gosh. I don't... I don't get to drink a whole lot of stout these days in my older age. And I forget just how good, um, you know, this beer is. This is just a delight. Cheers.